have Jasper the kitty here with me today and we are going to be clipping his nails. Uh, first things first, number one, you're always going to take away their little weapons just in case they get a little aggressive. So we're just going to clip those nails on each one of his paws and then go ahead on to our next step. So Jasper is getting a lion cut today. So we are going to prep him by shaving off a lot of that hair first, just so that when we give him a bath and blow dry, um, it's a lot less drying time, which is gonna be a lot less stressful on him. I am using my Wall KM cordless clippers, which I just got. I really like these clippers so far, and we're gonna do a reverse so that he gets that really nice, smooth, clean look on his fur. cut him because their skin is so thin and almost like tissue paper it's really easy to cut so as long as you're spreading that skin apart really nice and tight um, it'll be a lot easier to make sure that you don't cut or nick them um, you're also going to see how I'm kind of moving his legs and his body around on uh, what's going to be most comfortable for him with his anatomy and the way his body bends and works um, so we're just going to bend him around make sure we get all of that hair out um, so we can give him that good bath afterwards. So now you'll see that I put him on my lap. Um, I did this just to make it a little bit easier for him and myself to get those little difficult areas. Um, afterwards, I put him back on the table to get his tail, uh, make sure he gets that little poof on the end. You can see I lifted up his skin right there. Um, that just shows, you know, kind of how thin their skin is and that you want to be really stretching so you're not cutting them like I said earlier. Um, so we're just going to be shaving his tail, get that little lion look, and then we're going to trim up his paws. Um, you only can do this upon the owner's request. I think it looks a little bit nicer, uh, so I just trim them up. I trim by the paws, and then I just trim around um, the front of the paws. Make sure to be really extra careful, though, because you can't really tell where a cat's toes start and end, so it can be very easy to cut them. So you just want to barely graze the top of those paws with your scissors. Now I am going to get Jasper in the tub. We're gonna make sure the water is at a good temperature and slowly start gently pouring it on him so he doesn't get too freaked out. Uh, you can tell he's a little nervous because he hasn't been bathed too often, um, but he is a really good boy. Uh, we're gonna take my Chubbs bar in just a minute here, uh, which is the absolute best shampoo for grooming cats. It really gets them squeaky clean. You want to be able to hear that squeak at, on, on them at the end of bathing them because it really shows that you got all that grease off. So you'll see me rub that bar of soap on him and just kind of lather him up. You want to make sure that they're getting super, super sudsy and you want to make sure that you're also rinsing them really well. You don't want to be leaving any of that on them because it can possibly dry out their skin and then you don't want them licking it off later. So we're going to lather him up really good and then go ahead and rinse him off really good as well. Now you can see I put the air muzzle on Jasper's head for the drying process. Um, I just did that because it can get a little scary with that velocity dryer sometimes and having something around their head can just really help calm them down. So you want to make sure that you're getting an air muzzle to help with that. 
Um, now that I have bathed and dried Jasper, we're going over the finishing touches. So you want to just be combing out that mane and that tail and just going over spots on his back that you see that maybe be a little uneven or maybe just have a little bit of extra hair that you didn't get good enough earlier. Making sure that he is all nice and smooth and just doing those last finishing touches before we send him back home. You also want to make sure that you're getting those really nice crisp lines by the mane and the front and back paws. Uh, since he's getting that lion cut, we want we don't want to necessarily blend those lines in. We want to make them really nice and clean lines. Uh, so once we have perfected that, uh, we will go ahead and comb everything back into place. And then you will see next that I am taking my cotton balls. I'm going to be cleaning out each of his ears uh, with alcohol and then taking a saline solution to clean off his face to make sure he is all nice and ready. And that is it for Jasper's Lion Cut today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you click to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.